Hello, welcome to Shush's Kitchen. As highly requested dish by my friends, by my children friends, I'm so happy to share this dish with you all. Feta Magdus, it's a Syrian tweet. The word feta means crumbled bread. As the foundation of this dish, it's crispy flat bread with two other layers, tomato sauce and yogurt sauce. There's different variety of feta. There is uh, chicken feta, there are uh, chickpeas feta, which they call it feta hummus, and also the feta magdus. Feta magdus means aubergine, feta aubergine. Uh, the original one, it's small aubergine stuffed with meat. As I wanted to make it vegetarian, I want to simplify this uh, recipe and make it healthy, yet very tasty. I'm using a large aubergine, without the meat of course, and I hope you enjoy it. That's my way, hope you like it. Thank you. The flat bread, we need to cut it in small pieces, about two centimeters, and just drizzle it with olive oil, and put it in the oven until it's crispy. Some people, they like to fry it. I, I, I prefer to reduce the amount of oil I'm using. So I'll put it in the oven and it will give the same taste, no problem. The tomato sauce, we need of course the tomato, onion, garlic, some uh, mixed spice, a little bit of cloves and the aubergine. Aubergine, and instead of frying the aubergine, again, we'll cut it slices, just drizzle it with olive oil, salt, and put it in the oven until it's cooked well. With the yogurt sauce, we need lemon juice, we need tahina or sesame paste, and of course the yogurt. To garnish this dish, it's nice to garnish it with pomegranate, parsley, and pine nuts. So we start with cutting the bread. I'll show you a simple way to cut it. Of course, again, you like it a bit bigger, no problem. It's just, you know, if you try to cut them the same size, all of them, it will be nicer for a presentation. So put them together. And now, drizzle with olive oil. Mix it well. We're trying to make uh, the olive oil spread evenly. Now it's good. We'll, uh, we'll put it in the oven in 200 uh, uh, Celsius and until the bread is crispy. Now we need to do the aubergine. Uh, basically, we cut the head. Uh, we'll keep some of the skin. Uh, it's nice as well. It's nice. I mean, you wouldn't feel the skin. It's good. Maybe a little bit from here. It's about one centimeter. You don't want it thick and you don't want it really thin. When it's thin, it will be very crispy. We just want them right. Put it in the oven tray. Now we'll Put some olive oil and put some salt. And basically, just uh, coat the aubergine with the olive oil very quickly. You can drizzle it or you know do it this way. Uh, I think aubergine needs a little bit more of olive oil. You don't want a lot, but at the same time, you need to cover it all with olive oil, so it will give the same result as if you're frying them. Now, our aubergine is well coated with olive oil and salt. We'll put the tray in, uh, in the oven with 250 Celsius, and I will tell you exactly how long it's gonna take. While we're waiting for the aubergine to be done, We'll, do, we'll cook the, uh, the tomato sauce. So basically, we cut the onion. And we chopped it very, very small. The smallest you can. For the aubergine lover, this is the right dish for you. So we'll 
put the, uh, the onion, a little bit of olive oil. And we, need, we need also to smash the garlic. The garlic I have here, it's five, five uh, pieces. I'll, ha I'll take some of it for the tomato sauce and the rest for the yogurt sauce. So I'll add some uh, salt. This is the best way to make it as a creamy texture. And the onion, it's uh, caramelized. We can add like half of the garlic. And we'll keep the other half for the, the, the yogurt sauce. Now we'll add the gloves. Mix five, just a small amount and the tomato. This is fresh tomato. It's been chopped and prepared in advance. We'll add a little bit of lemon juice. With this, uh, the tomato sauce, you don't need to overcook the tomato or the onion. You need to feel the ingredients when you eat it. We'll add the pomegranate molasses. It's new, so you need a little bit of Push, <laughs> just a little bit. And we need some black pepper. And a little bit of salt, because we add salt to the aubergine. So you don't want, you, want, you don't want it very salt. So I think it's enough. The sauce is ready now for the aubergine to be added to it. We need to flip it on the other side. So it will be cooked evenly. Now our aubergine, it's nice. It's, can you see it's brown? It means it's cooked well. So just we add them to the tomato sauce. And gently we stir. We don't want to break the aubergine. Just for another two minutes. And that's it. We shouldn't cook, overcook it. Yeah, I think it's, it's good now. The tomato sauce now it's ready. We'll do the yogurt sauce. So we have the yogurt. We'll mix them well. We'll add lemon juice. Again, mix well. We'll add the garlic. The rest of the garlic. I'll tell you exactly how much I add. I think it's about one lemon for both the, the yogurt sauce and the tomato sauce. One lemon juice is enough. Of course, a large one. And then we'll add the tahina or the uh, sesame paste. I like my sesame paste. I think it's good, a nice flavor to the dish. Sometimes the yogurt it's quite thick, so it just need a little bit of uh, of water. You don't want uh, unless you want it very sour. So you can add more of the lemon juice, just tiny bit of water. You can just check the salt. So you just try it a little bit. I think it's good. Now we'll do the last bit, which is the pine nuts. We need to fry it to garnish the dish. A bit of olive oil. And my pine nuts. Just we don't need the extra oil. We'll put them in a kitchen towel to absorb all the oil. Now we'll do the fun parts, just to do the layers. We'll start with the crispy uh, flat bread. Don't want to lose anything. For the bread, you use the amount of bread you need. I think, you know, like a thin layer would be fine. Then we'll do the, the aubergine and the tomato sauce as another layer. Try not to break the aubergine. You do it as, gen as gently as you can. And when you serve this dish, you have to serve it straight away.
because you know the the bread will be soggy so you, you want to keep it crunchy otherwise you need to put the bread on the top if you think it's gonna take a while to serve this dish let's see now we'll do the yogurt you cover it nicely then we'll garnish it Of course you garnish it the way you like. I prefer this way. I think it's more like more traditional or more fun. And the last bit would be the pine nuts. Now my favorite dish it's ready. If you Enjoy it, please hit like and subscribe to receive more videos. Thank you so much.